Good morning, Sydney. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm well rested. This feels really good. Yeah. How about you? She's really willing, you know, and uh, she, even if something hurts, like one of her knees is a, like pretty God. Yeah. And she'll say, but you know what? I think, I think I just need to keep working it. And, you know, it's like, wow, mom, like I gotta bottle you and just put you in every person I need to work with that's, that's got so much resistance because she's just so willing. Good. Yes, I said, you said before that age. That age grouchy. Yeah. <laughs> I think my husband's gonna be a grouchy <laughs> old man, a <laughs> grouchy old man, because it is starting to show sign and I'm a happy person. And I actually told him, if you're not very comfortable, if it's not gonna be positive, I'm not gonna eat with you anymore. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. I need my knees to be. Yeah, yeah, you just oh my god, exactly. Yeah, you can't do it to be when life leaves you high and dry. I'll be Yeah. 
guys are expecting, you know, I said I want to see. Yeah. And this will be yours. I don't like that. I'm the actor. How? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know. This is get the momentum, right? I know. That's the one time I just can't do it. You can't really make running shoes that have grids, so I don't know how people do it. I'm just going to turn the music down a wee bit. Somebody has come online, I can hear. Oh, Michelle, good morning. Steps there, too. And then you can take your arms off the course. So you guys were just talking about this now. Keep that going. I'll just take the music down a notch. We were just talking about aging and aging with um without becoming crotchety. <laughs> and I was just saying, I was exercising my mom yesterday and she's so delightful. Like she's so willing. She'll do anything I say, even if it, the part doesn't work. And, um, and I actually, um, so we're going to do it. And then I would, so just to give you an example, like what we're doing right now is a lot of shoulder. It's tricep when we do this, and there's bicep and shoulder when we do the up. Anyways, so my mom, uh, long story short, bicep little tendon is disconnected. So what she can do um, is this. So you guys keep going. Is I'll raise her arm up like this, and then I'll say, okay, mom, can you hold it? And then can you see if you can let it down slowly? And she can. Or she'll just use her other hand, right, and pull it up. And already, after two sessions, there's a difference. And I say to her, you know, mom, it's just learning the language. Those, those neurons couldn't connect, and you're getting them back, and you're going to fire more, because she kept saying, I guess this is all I can do, right? Mm -hmm. And I said, actually, no. Today, like, you're going to keep on building like a language. You're going to have more and more. You're not just going to have all you do. You're going to be, ah, come on, say, ah, we said, ah, yeah, yeah, see, you're going to have more French, you're going to have more lifestyle so fibers, Sabine. It's <laughs> so, um, it was really fun, like, to, uh, I think we all make that reminder because <laughs> less and less can work or less and more complicated. We've got to remember we can't do fibers firing up. Okay, so now we can do a push out to one side. And we're going to turn this all the way, pushing the arms across. Yeah, we'll put one arm up. So we lift, lift, and we'll go straight back to the leg to the outside. Reach. Excellent. And then taking one arm down, so around and around. And then you can take that arm around the back and turn one arm in front. So you hold it. Excellent. Bring it across. Get the other arm way back to twist open the ribs. Excellent. Okay, we're going to take the knee up in front. So we're going to do a lift. And then just get really tall in here. And then we're going to pull with the arms. So we're going to pull and pull. Reaching. That's it. And it's going to be back in the 80s. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. And we used to do a lot of this in the 80s. A lot of this. <laughs> Taking this arm off. Get a really good reach. Now I'm going to turn this into a double count. So we'll come up for two. So up, two, bend this quarter leg. Keep the rear cage lifted. That's so what we are doing. Silly. Arr, arr, arr. That's it. Mm -hmm.
just nod if oh, I'm just wondering is it good through the shoulder this one um my shoulders are really really sore because of the traveling and carrying a heavy bag so oh, yeah. I can do it but it's like even the first one fatigued the shoulders quite a lot yeah yeah because the tightness in the shoulder will show up here so, yeah um, what you could do is I'm just going to show a little difference is um come up not as high and work on bringing the shoulder back behind the midline of the body and down. So not as high, pull back, and that way you can stretch the front of the shoulder. And that will, it's still, <laughs> still gonna be hard, but it will be a little bit easier to use in motion. Great. Okay, now you can come to the other arm. Lifting out. Control glory, and again, or the half range, pulling behind the midline body, up, behind the midline body, got it, up, behind, up. Excellent, go all the way, that's it. Good, can you let the dumbbell down a little slower, everybody? So you get deep in the shoulder girdle. Good. Now, the key is, can you keep the shoulder blade down? Because sometimes we'll hike it up to get the lift. So if you see if you can keep the shoulder blade back and down, it's really hard. I can't do it. <laughs> if you can. Ooh. Excellent. Out. Ooh. Two more. 
lift out. You guys keep going, that's the end of that shoulder. And then we're gonna take um, the all fours position to come into the reverse row. So we'll start with the right arm, sorry, left arm. And we can take the elbow up, hold the top, and then roll it down. Up, hold, and then down. So the core is facing down, and you're reaching out for the crown of the head. We've got three. Get the elbow pretty high. Excellent. This is the third and you're gonna stay up and pulse and lift. Up, up, up. That's it, leading with the elbow. Excellent. Excellent. High, high as you can. Keep the core facing down. Elbows a little lower than the shoulder. Four, three, breath. Ah, okay, other side. There we go. Full range to begin. Draw the elbow back. Excellent. Really good. Excellent. Now we stay high and pulse. Back, back. Lead with the elbow. Shoulder blade comes back. Three, two, and one. Okay, very nice. Now we're coming right back up to standing and coming in to bicep curl. So you can have your feet just a bit apart. Do feel free to come into the balance, lifting the opposite foot. Press into the standing leg. Shoulder to back. Awesome. Lift it. Keep the sternum in. Rise. Feel free to take this arm out too. As long as you keep the shoulder down and get some work on this uh, outside shoulder. Then we've got three, and then we'll do the half. Lift. Okay, now we do half. Just start halfway up, and then go three quarters. Just come halfway down. Three quarters. Keep the elbow pinned in, shoulder back, shoulders down. Rip cage in. Head back. So good. This one. We've got full length all the way down. Left. Really good. Left. Last one. And beautiful. Come on to the other side. Possibly lifting the other foot. Yeah. And then you can keep the elbow pinned in. Keep the wrist straight. You've got your full range. <clears throat> Pardon me, press on the inside of the standing leg. And just from the side, if you can make sure the chin is back. So you do keep the shoulder, it helps you keep the shoulder down. And keep pressing down into the standing leg. Breath. One more head back. Excellent. Really good work. That's it. So good. That's it. Okay, I'm halfway. Coming three quarters up. One more, then full range. Full range all the way down. Up. We have to one more. Nicely done. Okay, come back to the shoulder press. So taking the elbows to the outside. Inhale, exhale, rise, and down. Exhale, and beautiful. Exhale to the left, keeping the elbows on. Good. Keeping the rear cage in. Excellent. Good. Four, up, three, elbows wide, 
rest. <laughs> That's it. Okay, good work. Now we do the up and out. So we're going to take the arm up and then roll over to the side. Slowly draw bridge down. Try to keep calm down. Come in front, lift out to the side. Yeah. Find that you can get more work. Open. Good control. Lift out to the side. Okay, sweet. Keep the ribs in. Keep pressing into the standing leg. Breath. Okay, so good. Lift. Out. Okay, other side. Coming up. Out to the side. Excellent. Lift. Out. Good control. That's it. And Keep going. <laughs> I might do it without the double. Come up. Oh, that's a little better. And down. Um, left. Really nice control. And down. Um, left. Out. Oh, it feels so good to do this without the double. It feels like I took my skates off and my feet are going. <laughs> and down. Um, okay, brilliant. Now we'll come down to the bench over, or sorry, all four legs. <laughs> Kind of use that hand right under the shoulder. Here we go, left arm coming up, hold, and then lower. So do hold at the top this time. Up, hold, and lower. Up, hold, and lower. Up, hold, and lower. Good. Up, hold, breath, and lower. Up, hold, breath, and lower. Up, hold. Breath and lower. Good. Now please stay high and then pulse. Lift. Draw the shoulder blade back. Lift. Lift. Up. 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 Four. Three. Two. Good. And then to the other side. Okay, Sabine, so where do you feel the work when you're when you're uh, doing the high one? Can you feel? Yeah. Right in there. Okay. See if you can take the elbow a little bit higher to work into the back of the shoulder blade. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. okay, good. But more here. <laughs> more there. <laughs> okay. Up and hold. Nice control, Lori. Up and hold. Control. Up and hold. Control, good. Up and hold. And down. Up and hold. That's it. Good. And lift. Good. Now we stay high and pulse. Up. Back. Back. Lift. Back. Back. Shock. Wait, what is that? Back. Back. Four. Three. Two. And one. Okay. Beautiful. You're going to get a stretch for the shoulder to counter stretch. So get to your all fours. And then thread the right arm across. Come on down to the right cheek and get the right arm over as far as you can. Pull the tailbone back slightly, pull in from the core. And then you can come on back up. Now taking that left arm across. Get over as far as you can. Release to the left cheek. Pulling in through the core. Breath. Breath. Beautiful. And then come on back up. Now with the hands um, uh, right underneath the shoulders, tuck the toes under. Take an inhale, arc the back, drop the belly, and then you can exhale and rise into downward dog. Walk your hands back to your feet. See if you can keep the heels pressed down as you do, and pull up from the core into your forward bend. Now pressing down through the feet, inside sides of the feet. Now um, I have short legs, so I've got my hands flat on the floor. Feel free, of course, to bend the knees and sit the hips back a little bit. 
See if you can get the hands down. Pull up strongly from the core as you let the head fall. And then we're going to walk the hands three feet. So you're in a short downward dog. And then we're going to lift the right leg up, turn the right foot out, and then come up onto the fingertips of the right hand. Press into the left hand, and then you might be able to lift that right arm up. And you can gaze, I need to gaze to the floor for balance. You might be able to turn to the side and look. And if you need to take the hand down, no problem. And you want to just keep the heel reaching out. Extend. Excellent. And then you come down to the other side. Right, you're going to come, take that left leg up, turn to the left. See if you can take. Notice also if you have to take the right hand in a little more so it's under the right shoulder. And then reach that left heel out. See if you can come up with the left hand. Open. Breath. Excellent. Okay, and then come down. In your downward dog, bring the heels back a little further, feet back a little further. Pull the thumb bones up high, getting a great lift in through the hips. Okay, now we're gonna take the left leg up, reach up through the left heel into three-legged dog, get long through that leg, bend the heel in, and then you're gonna pulse to the ceiling, going right into the inner buttock, keep the belly facing down, and lift, let the head fall, the top of the head is reaching towards the floor, the heel reaching towards the ceiling, pulling up from the core. Excellent. Push like you're pressing a break in the air. And four, three, two, stay high and pulse, 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 pulse. Pushing the heel to the ceiling. Pull the core in. And of course, you can come down to the knee, coming down to the all fours position. And then take that leg down. Bend the knees, child's palms, child the, the, the palms forward, child's pose, and then exhale and release back. Then the palms way out there. Excellent. And then you can take the arms back in, come back into your downward dog, toes tucked under, take an inhale, gaze up, arch the back, and then exhale, rise into the downward dog. Lifting the right leg up, bend the heel in, and then push the heel to the ceiling. Down and push. Down and push. Pulling up from the core. Yeah. <laughs> and push. Keep the belly button facing down. Try to really push right to the ceiling. Breath. Push. Push. Strong, push, push, now let's stay high, and then you pulse, 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 and pulse, and pulse, and push, 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 and bring your leg out and down. Bend, uh, bring the feet hip width apart into your full downward dog. Hold the bum up. Lift. Lengthen into a good long stretch in your downward dog. Okay. Now we'll come back to all fours. And if you have your hands just directly under your shoulders, we'll take the left leg out, reach the right arm out, open through the chest, reaching that heel. Excellent. That's it. Good. Now you can take that left leg out just about a foot and come back. And out to the left. Keep pulling up from the core and then back to your center. If you need to take this hand down, you can come down to fingertips and then just see if you can take the hands off and out whenever you can. And keep that left leg reaching out and keep the leg as straight as you can. Reaching. Three more. Reach. Leg super straight. <laughs> and then it comes down. Okay, um, we're going to stretch that supporting 
left elbow. So we're gonna take the left arm under, palm up. Come on onto the back of the left shoulder blade. Release the weight of the head to the cheek. Breath. A little further across if you can. Okay, lovely. Come on back up. Here you are, all fours. Taking the right foot up. Reach out through the right heel. Take the left arm up. Reach that right leg out strongly. Take the right leg to the side. Come back. Out to the side. Come back. And again, if you need to keep the left hand down like so with fingertips, and just kind of come off and on as needed. That's a great way to keep it balanced. Main thing, belly button faces the floor. The heel reaches out straight. So you lengthen strongly through the back of that leg. Really get out there. Way out there. Or just a foot, because that's all the body will give you for keeping the balance. Excellent. Three more. Get that heel reaching out. No, I think we might have run around to that. Let's see. Nope. Now we'll take the right arm under. Come on with the right arm, palm up. Release to that right cheek. Good. Stay with a nice deep breath. Pulling across. And then you can breathe and come on back up. Now tuck the toes in. Take an inhale, face up, arc the back. Exhale, rise into downward dog. Walk the hands back to the feet, forward bend. Now um, come onto the fingertips in an open forward bend. So your hands are six inches in front of your toes. And you come up onto the tip, uh, tips of the fingers. And then you gaze ahead to flatten the upper back and slide the shoulder blades down. Mm -hmm. Really pull up from the core. Good, the inner thighs are actively pulling the bum bones up and you're gazing ahead with that chin lifted, flattening the upper back. Good, keep the shoulder blades coming down, legs actively pulling up. Now we're gonna take the uh, hands Actually, I think you might be able to stay here, but you might need to take the hands forward about eight inches, and then you're going to take your left leg up, and then walk your hands back in if you walk to the mount, and reach the left leg up as you pull up through your standing leg, and really pull up through that inner thigh of the standing leg. Good. Reach out with that left heel. You can pull the toes in. Keep uh, pulling the core in and pressing the belly button to face down. So you'll pull up strongly into the right standing hip. Now pulse that left heel higher, 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 reach it out, reach it out. And then come down. That was fantastic. You might need to, when you come into the right leg, you might need to take your hands forward again and then reach that right heel up. Ex, uh, extend that heel out as much as you can. Do pull up strongly through the standing leg to get that reach. Reach, 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 reach. Pulse up, get high up. If you can get a little further with the reach, pulling in through the core, and then come down. Okay, we are ready in and up. You're going to bend your knees and slowly uncurl, letting your arms dangle as you come up. Oh, and lifting all the way up, okay, that was brilliant. Now you can take um, a light set of dumbbells, and um, I think Sabine, you'll be okay with the fives, but we're gonna do the strong running arms. So we're gonna do the running arms with the dumbbells. It's slower, it's very robotic. Yeah, thank you so much. You can do that. Yes. Wow. It's really strong. <laughs> okay. So you're leaning back with the elbow. That's so That's good. 
Good, so you're seeing we've got a really good range here. Good, and you're raising the dumbbell higher than your shoulder. And when you come back as high as you can. <laughs> Excellent. Now we take the dumbbell across and across. Yeah. Now the one arm is high, so you've got to turn to the outside and you come across and across and across. Now maybe we have our arms and across and across and reach and reach. That's it. Um, I come back. That's it. Okay, we're putting the dumbbells down. We've got the arms nice and strong. Getting ready for my arms. Get nice and loose through the shoulders before you do any movement, any way at all to loosen. Opening. And here we go. Excellent. All out. Leading with the elbow back. Excellent. Feel free to do anything with the feet or the hips. You want to jiggle the hips, twerk. <laughs> Can you twerk? Can anybody twerk? Twerk if you could twerk. <laughs> Meeting with the elbows. Do go all out. So this is your highest point of cardio. Leave the elbows. And then just bring one round to the other side if that works for you. Bring me back with the elbows. Excellent. Core does draw in when you rotate. Lead with the elbows. Hold up and in. And fast. Good, super fast. Excellent. Good. Excellent. Fast. Oh, I know. <laughs> oh, I'm almost there. So fast, all of it. Oh. Okay, well done. We're going to take the left arm up, taking the elbow, take the arm over and lengthen out from the sides. Do keep the ribs in as you rise, up from the core, and then take the arms down. Now we'll take that right arm up, grabbing the elbow, coming right up and out. Keep the lift of the rib cage. Keep opening through the side, beautiful. Breath, and then you can let that arm down. Okay, we're going to come right down to all fours position, and I'm just going to take the music down. So coming into all fours. Okay, music off. Just 
to Zoom. Okay, great. And now from here, we'll come into all fours. We'll take the left, um, left arm out, and you're going to draw down to the right elbow. So the right elbow can be, the hand can be across the body. Left arm is up. Now I'm going to take uh, the left leg out and come into a full circle. And you want to reach right out from the heel. So you get a really good straight back of the knee. So it's straight. Um, and you can get more of a stretch in through the, <clears throat> pardon me, in through the back knee. Now you're going to touch all the way over to the right. Reach out there. And then come up and come out to the left. Now I just want to change the arm position. Let's take this right arm further forward than bend the elbow. So you've got a wider base. So you're going to come all the way out to the left and then all the way over to the right. And you get a really good lift. So the legs stay straight as you reach out and the core is facing down and out. Yeah, really good. And reaching and excellent and out and reach out very nice and reach and out and four and out three do keep the core pulled in so you'll go deeper into your hip because of that and we have one more come back and out now you're going to keep the leg out and then um, turn the heel so you're reaching it out and then pulse up. And you'll notice you're really pressing your right foot down for balance as you reach that heel out. Now take the leg straight back, straight back. Take your left arm in to meet your right. Be on both elbows as that left heel reaches out. Face the core down and the belly button down. And then pulse the leg up. So it's just about a foot that you can go. Yeah. <laughs> and you're pressing the right foot uh, down and the toes facing down. Yeah. So we're on both elbows, perfect. And you're reaching that heel. And now you can bend the heel in and then push all the way to the ceiling, just like we did with standing pose. So in the downward dog. So you're going to push and then come down and push to the top and then come down and push to the top get the heel in really close so you can straighten higher up and get more contraction in the body so the heel comes in tight we push we've got four more of these and you push the belly button is facing down and you push that's it i used to do this with five pound weights my god and down <laughs> the leg got heavier and they come down Okay, now this is okay. Let's change sides before we change our mind. We'll take the, we are having the right arm out to the side, the left arm a little further forward, then down to the elbow. There's your base. And then you take the right leg up. You reach out through the heel so you're really strong. Good. So the first one is to circle just about a foot in diameter with the leg long. So you're reaching out through the heel. The belly button facing down. The leg is strong, really reaching out. Good. And um, also just make sure the neck is good. So feel free to look down. And yeah, and this is a bit late to see this, but the best position for the camera, Michelle, is when the, um, uh, the laptop or the device is over to the side on this one just so that you can look from the side and not extend the neck up. Makes it a little easier. Okay, we are good. Now you're gonna take that leg out to the side, all the way across, over, touch to the left, all the way to the right, back, all the way over to the left, touch, all the way to the right, yes. All the way to the left, touch, straight leg, reach, and across and back and reach so good and across and back and reach <laughs> yes oh my lord and across and back keep the belly button facing down dear god okay got two more and out good and one more touch 
we come all the way out, all the way back. Good. Now we square the elbows down, so both elbows facing down. Take the heel in. Take the heel to the ceiling, and then coming down. And push, and down, and push, and down. Yes, push. Good. Bring that heel high. Keep the heel tight when you come down. So right here, pull the heel in tight. That gets deeper into your body. And then you push up and you come down and push. Really good. And push. And push. Coming right to the ceiling. Good. Push. So good. Push and down. And four. And down. And three. And down, two, down, we really push. Can you please stay up and pulse, and pulse? <laughs> Just for five, and four, and three, and of course, down. and last one, dear Lord, take that knee down. We are coming up into uh, legs in front. So you can take your, your heels out and just reach out. And let's just die for a minute. <laughs> just come, come on down for a minute. Oh, oh, that was good. Oh, Sabine, did you? Oh, you yeah. guys really felt that through your bone. Yeah. So, you know, you were saying you used to grab a flat bone. You might have came in the people who had heavy bones. I'm doing that. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. 15 pounds. I know. If oh, have, that's right. That's right. right. I know the lips are heavy. It's a lot of work. <laughs> <gasps> Okay. Let's get that. Yeah, that was really good. Yeah, feel free to do any little stretches. I, I'm getting captivated. There's these beautiful, massive, floaty snowflakes. Aren't they gorgeous? Mm. Oh, is that ever pretty? Okay, so <clears throat> um, yeah, do maybe a little fabulous stretch for a minute to just bring you more into contact with the floor to help release your hips. Happy baby's brilliant after bum work. Yeah, and to the outside. That's really good. That's really good. I was thinking yesterday, um, I don't know if I've ever made the chocolate brownies for you guys, but they're made of avocados mm -hmm. and no flour, really gooey. And I was thinking yesterday that I could, instead of putting the chocolate, the pure cacao powder in, I could put collagen powder because I found one that's really good. And then I thought, what's happening to me? I'm trying to turn brownies into collagen bars. <laughs> but I think I'm going to try it anyways. <laughs> now you can take the soles of the feet together. This is kind of a great little back stretch. Press the soles together, send the knees apart, and, um, and it can come back up. I find that often I'll, I'll think of a recipe based on when somebody in my world's need, like my mom needs more protein, and she really likes sweets. So I thought, oh, what about if I made her collagen brownies? <laughs> and they're coming down. But don't you get collagen in all your food? You got those? You got collagen. You get, you get some, yeah. It, it, it is a protein. Um, it's, it's that there has been a lot of um, evidence to show that collagen, of course, across fibers. Um, that as we get older, it helps to add to the diet for muscle soreness. Ah. So, so I'll report back. I've only been doing it for about three months, but I haven't been absolutely consistent, so I can't say yet. Um, I think I've noticed a difference though. And then you can let the heels down. So yeah, collagen for muscle soreness, recovery, um, and also just getting more protein if you're not getting enough protein. So um, now we're going to come into core, and you can have your knees directly over the hips, dead bug position. Take the hands up to the ceiling. <laughs> yes, this one. Oh, God. And take the shoulder blades off the floor. Really good. Okay. So honestly, I think this takes all we have. So you're going to take one foot down without moving the core, and then you come back, and you take the other foot down without moving the core and you come back so the tailbone reaches out the low back presses down and as the shoulder as the hands come up and the shoulder blades reach off the floor you're really keeping 
the low core flat and pressing down. Really good. Keeping the low back pressed. The movement has to be very, very felt. Like you are, it's not that you're going at a certain speed, like one, and two. It's, I find it's more keep pressing the low back down and see how much you can move, like how fast with the low back staying down. Okay, that's really good. Now you can take the hands just to the top of the hips, let the shoulders come under. Um, make sure your neck is free. And then take the knees, so this is the square one. You take the knees away, it's not very far. You press the knees together so they were apart. And then you bring them together back to the over the hip, take them apart and continue going out, pulling together and coming back over the hips. Yeah, and apart, sending weight tailbone reaches out, pulling in and back over the hips. And you keep the shoulders free as you do the movement and back. Really good. Really good. Excellent. Again, keep the tailbone reaching out. Keep the shoulders back and down. And keep the core pulling in. Yeah, yeah, you could lift your head and keep your core down. Yeah, that, that's okay. The main thing is, is if you can see the position of the knee, it never comes into the point that it shortens your back down for you. So you're keeping the back pressing down by the knee staying in line with the hip. What we used to do a lot in the 80s was this. We do a lot of pulling in and you end up using momentum. So here we're being really Pilates-like and keeping the tailbone reaching out to keep the non-neutral spine, to keep the tailbone reaching out to flatten the back. So it's a little, it's kind of like um, losing the curve in your back by using the core to press it down. Yeah. Um, oh, it's so much work. Yeah, just, you'll get to get good at this because more and more of the abdominal wall will be able to contract <laughs> more. <laughs> Okay, good. And then you can come in. Now, um, just stay, uh, pull the knees in, and then you can cross the right ankle on top of the left. So you're going to bring the ankle and the knee, so you'll come right over like so. And then you take the arms up, and you're going to breathe in, and then exhale, lift. And reach past your feet as the core pulls in, and then breathe in down. And inhale, exhale, lift, reach past the feet. That's it, that's it, that's it. And then breathe in down. Exhale, lift, pulling in, pulling in, pulling in, pulling in, pulling in, pulling in. Good, and breathe in down one more. We hold up here and your tailbone comes up. Please, please, please pull the tailbone up if you can. You'll contract deeper in the core. Oh, and then come down. Okay, uncross, recross before we change our minds, taking the arms up, <laughs> taking a breath. Exhale, lift, move past the feet, tailbone up, breath, breath, and down. And again, exhale, lift, press down through the tailbone as you lift, and coming down. And again, exhale, lift, moving past the feet, pressing the tailbone down, beautiful down. And last one, we hold, but we breathe. So you really pull the tailbone up, keep pressing the core in breath breath, press in, and then you can come down. Okay, we uncross the legs, let the heels come down, stretch the arms overhead, and if this causes an impingement in the shoulder, the shoulder in the varsity, just notice if you can pull the shoulder blade under. Um, I just would love for people to be able to keep their full range of shoulder um, overhead without impingement. So impingement, that grab that happens at the front shoulder in the joint where it's, it feels like a drawer's mm -hmm. jam. So if you can see if you bring the shoulder down, can you get more movement? I just find that people really lose this ability and it is a fitness test. Like we see if you can take your arm back. And just to give you an idea, like lots of people with rotator cuff, you know, that's it, right? They can't get the shoulder down. So it's so helpful to keep this range because being able to put your arms over your head helps with low pressure. 
And you want to have good moving blood pressure because there's too many things to say about this, but it's, it's so helpful to be able to keep this range. So um, to strengthen the range, I want you to take your arms in right angles like this to the outside. So I've got my elbows back and you're gonna press the elbows back. So if you can bring the arms in, like I can't get my left hand down because of my tight shoulder. So this is just a good little test. And then we're gonna bring our bridge into it with the feet hip width apart and you send the tailbone away. So what I would really love for you to do is, is move in a whole bunch of ways so that the body does get acclimatized to certain pathways. You want to be able to fire out many pathways. And that is one of the ways that we don't age is because we, we can move in so many ways. And um, it really means that more fibers are being fired up and they don't shrink, more muscle fibers. Okay, now um, do a little pulse in the air and you're really sending the tailbone out as you press on the insides of the feet and you're breathing is steady and breath. Really, really reaching out. Head is back and there is a little gap underneath the neck. And then you lower down, but keep your tailbone uh, reaching out as you do. And then come down. Okay, excellent. Now we're going to cross the right ankle over the left. Let the right knee rotate away as much as you can. And then grab behind that left knee. Lift the upper body up as you pull everything together. And see if you can really get that right knee rotating out. That's great. Let the upper body down. Bring the left leg up. Pull the toes back. And then you might have to lift up again. See if you can go over. The right leg and grab or you can absolutely stay under and pull the left leg towards you so that the tailbone is coming up off the floor now i'm reaching for the foot because my leg is short piece of cake i can get down there so just notice if you can reach lower on the leg you get a greater stretch in that right bum and your shoulders are back yeah really good as much over as you can Excellent. And then you can release the left leg down. <laughs> Take the right leg in the air, pull the leg towards you with the left leg staying bent and contract in through the core as you get your rise. Fantastic. You reach out through that heel, breathing. And then you can let that right leg down, keeping the knee bent. Cross the left leg over, press the left knee away to open. Really good. And then you can take that right leg up, grab behind the right knee, lift the upper body, pull the left leg in, get stretched in that left bum. You can tuck your chin as you pull the leg in uh, further, high in as you can. Then let the upper body down. Take the right leg up, get where you can, grabbing wherever you can. Open the hip. Really good. Low back comes off the floor as you do. So good. Do you see if you can pull the toes back? And then you can release the leg down. Good. Take the left leg up. Keep the right knee down. Draw the left leg towards you. And Keeping that right leg pressing down. Excellent. Excellent. And then you can release the left leg down. Good. I'm going to um, take the arms out to the side and press the palms down to draw the shoulders down. Now cross the right knee on top of the left of so the knee, and you're really tight. Bring the knees to the midline of the body just below the belly button. And then if you can wrap the lower leg, the right leg under, that's always nice. Otherwise, this is great. And then you're going to bend your left, bend to your left and gaze to your right, coming to your big full spinal twist. Opening. Breath.
And then you can breathe in, come on back up. And then bend over to the right, keeping that same wrap, so you still have the right knee on top. And yeah, sorry about that. And because we're gonna twist out of this, we're gonna change legs after this. It just gets a much deeper stretch in the left ball and hip and low back. All the way through the chest and shoulders. Really good, reaching that left arm out. And then you can come on all the way back. Now keep the knees wrapped, lift the upper body, pull the legs in, pull in really snug, get tight as you can, tight as you can, and then gently release and uncross that right leg, recross left leg comes on top, maybe you wrap, you twist to the left, you gaze to the right, and you drop that right shoulder back as you open right through the right waist. Shoulder opens back, breathes full. Great. Good. Breathe in, come up, keep the legs wrapped, bend over to the right, gaze into the left. Breathe in, come all the way back up. You guys come up. I just, I'm getting a big, big release in my back and I want to just pull a bit more. This one, my back holds. And you guys come back up and really just pull the knees in. And then you can gently release. Um, I'm always fascinated by how the low back affects the shoulder, how when you unwrap, this outer uh, part that attaches to the low back, it can really open the chest. It's really wonderful to open that, that hip to open the chest and the shoulder here. It's quite nice, they're so connected. And then you can uncross that leg. Now pull both legs up wide again and come back into happy baby. Hold on to the low legs or the feet and do a little rock side to side. And then you can let the heels come down. Now roll over to your right side. Come on up to see the position. And because <laughs> we are done. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. It's really good working through the bum today in the core. Yeah, it's, it takes a lot of concentration. That was great. Okay, you're welcome. Thanks for being here, Michelle. Thanks, Celeste. I needed that. <laughs> Good. All right. Enjoy your day. I love your shirt. Oh my gosh. You too. <laughs> Bye. Bye. -bye.